Well, hello everybody, and welcome to VizioGuy.com. Today we're going to talk about Visio DIP switch shapes, or DIP switches, that were created by users of the Visio Guy forum. They, they created these shapes on their own spare time and submitted them for you to download for free. It started a few days ago when one reader created a Visio DIP switch smart shape, was proud of his work and wanted to share it with us. Then other readers got a hold of it, looked at it, thought of some improvements, got into the shape sheet and made their own shapes, and submitted a few more versions for us to download for free. So I like what everybody came up with. It's kind of exciting to look at, and it shows you the power of Visio Smart Shapes and just how fun diagramming with Visio can be. So let's get to the shapes. Zyorg, or Zyorg77, started it all off with this dip switch shape that he created for his own work. And the way he decided that we could turn each of the eight switches on and off was by the use of shape data fields. So you can see here, number one is closed. If I go to the shape data window in the lower left corner, I can change it to closed, open, and so on. So I can go down the list and configure each switch the way I want it to be. If you don't like the indirection of using the shape data window, you can alternatively right click on the shape and directly manipulate or toggle the switches on and off. You can see 4 is up and now 4 is down. 5 is up and now 5 is down. Another user saw this, you might recognize his name, and thought, well, if I want to configure the shape, I have to go to 8 different drop downs or 8 different right mouse action menu items. And that could take me a while, especially if I have to change lots of values. So how about creating a single string in the shape data field that allows us to just simply and simply and quickly type the values we need. So you can see here, if I type eight zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the switches are closed. Conversely, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ones opens them all. And of course, we can mix and match. Just like that. So, f for people who want to, for impatient people, this might work a little bit better. For people who want to automate the shape and place many of them on a page, this might be easier to program. But that's not the end of the customizations. Jurovsky thought this shape data field stuff and this right mouse clicking stuff was way too indirect. Why don't we just play with the shape directly? And here you can see a bunch of yellow dots that represent control handles that you can create with Visio's shape sheet. And you can just simply turn each switch on and off as you like. This is the most intuitive version of the shape, easiest to use, I think. There's a, there's a lot fewer questions involved in how to use it. There's no documentation required. Just select the shape and pull on the yellow things. You'll also notice that they snap right into place, which is a really nice use of the bounds function combined with control handles so that the toggle switches don't wander all over the shape. Really nicely done. But Jarofsky wasn't done with just that. He took us into the third dimension and made a similar shape that again has these nice crisply clicking dip switch control handles and a beautiful isometric view. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, the article that accompanies this video will have all the hyperlinks you need to find where these shapes are on the web so that you can download them for free and get to doing some electrical diagrams. Thanks for your attention, and we'll see you over on VisioGuy.com. Bye-bye.